Hello and welcome to another episode of Phrasal Verbs. In today's lesson we're going to learn about the verb take. So take literally means to bring something, to get something from, or to take something from somebody else for yourself. Uh, but again this lesson is all about phrasal verbs so we're going to put the verb take together with prepositions and see what new meanings we, we find. The first one, take on. So take on. The literal meaning would be for you to take something, an object with you, onto something like a bus or a plane. For example, he took his passport on the plane. But the other meaning means to try out a challenge. It means to do something that could be quite difficult. So you could say he took on the challenge to run the marathon. Another meaning take off. We can literally take off our clothes. But it's also used for when a plane leaves the ground and goes into the air. The plane takes off. Uh, the next verb, take after. Take after is when you resemble somebody, specifically used for family members. Mother or father most often is used. So you could say the, far, the, the you could say the son really takes after his dad. It means that he's very similar to his dad. Take back. We can literally return something. We can take back books to the library. But it can also be used in terms of retracting a statement. So if you've said something and then you wish you didn't say it, you might say, "Oh, I wish I could take it back." Perhaps you said something rude to your boss and the next day you wake up thinking, oh, if only I could take that back. Take out means to remove something. You can take the glasses out of their case. But we can also use it to mean food from a restaurant. Take out and take away have a similar same meaning. We can say, oh, I really feel like some Chinese tonight. Let's go get a take out. Take into. This is often put together with consideration, take into consideration. It means to think about something. So for example, in the morning when you're deciding what to wear, you take into consideration the weather. If it's good weather, you might leave your coat behind, maybe wear a t-shirt. If it's bad weather, you think about taking an umbrella. Take over. To take over, the literal meaning is you take an object over to somewhere else. For example, I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm just going to take over my course book to give to my friend Sally. The other meaning of takeover is when you take over a company or a project. Project. It means that you become the new manager or boss. So if one company buys another company, you would say that they have taken over that company. Or if on a project you change who's in control or who's in charge, you would say that that new person has taken over. So that's the verb take. In our next phrasal verb class we're going to look at the verb get. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. See you next time.